Hi everyone and welcome to Team Talk again. Well, July is gone and we're into August and July was yet another record month. Can you believe it? It was our best July ever. It's 11 months in a row that we've had best months and uh, really looking forward to hopefully getting the 12th month over the line. A little bit of cooperation from the Deeds Office and we should get there. So that would be a great achievement to do a full year of best months ever. Our top agent for July was Justin Neberjack from uh, the Harcourts Blue Stable, followed by Ryan Curry and Bernadette Doby. Congratulations to all of you. Our top three officers were Harcourts Rhino, Harcourts Platinum and Harcourts Wineland, all with big months. Really well done to all of you. And our one office this month who had their best month ever was the Harcourts Destiny office from Mpumalanga. Congratulations to Gert and the team there. Very, very well done to get your best month ever. Now, something else I picked up which was quite interesting is that three of our officers have already reached platinum status and we're only in July and our year starts in April, our financial year. So four months into the year and they're already at platinum status. Those three officers are Harcourts Rhino, Harcourts Dunn and Harcourts Platinum. So that's a really fast start for all of them. Come on guys, let's try and catch them. But uh, really well done to, to all of them. We've got awards mornings coming up during September. We're really hoping that uh, the COVID numbers keep coming down and we'll be able to hold these. They'll be much smaller events, COVID friendly, all the protocols being followed. It'll just be wonderful to get all of you together again in a room to celebrate your success and give out awards to those who have earned them over the last six months because there have been some great performances. So please try to be there. Information will be coming out over the next week on that. And then finally, obviously with lockdown and people working from home and less people going into the office, the team colors or our uniform maybe isn't being worn as, as often as it used to. Now I think that's okay if you're at home and you're on your own. I don't expect you to put your tie on every morning. But I do think it would be great to try and get the Harcourts sort of uh, culture going again of us wearing our uniform, wearing our colors when we're out there. It definitely seems to have slipped a bit. And remember, it's a real differentiator for us. You know, a CEO of, of one of the other big real estate companies a few years ago phoned me. He was at an event to say, wow, the Harcourts guys just look so amazing in your team colors. And it just makes you so different from everybody else. Let's try to get back there. We've got lots of different options. You've got golf shirts and you've got um, various options that our, our team offers you. So let's try and get those team colors back on again. It's really worth it and it does make a difference. Till next time, cheers.